Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing some happy mail that I've received the past week and it's about this book. But why is this book lying here? Well, that's because a few weeks ago I received this book as happy mail and the lady who gifted this um, didn't leave any contact info. She left a note with her name, but I couldn't find her contact uh, info anywhere. And so she has sent a second book with her email included. So I immediately sent a thank you note uh, last, I think it was Tuesday. And um, so thank you very much, uh, Janice. I could uh, call your name and tell a little about why you are sending me those books. And that's because Janice is uh, also a colorist. And um, she wanted to thank me uh, for making my videos because she thinks they are uh, helpful, uh, especially because she's still learning some tips and tricks for coloring. And uh, I thought it was very sweet of her to say that. Um, I'm I'm doing my videos for for sharing my happiness when when coloring or when when showing some yeah new materials or or things that I've discovered or or yeah tr tried out myself and that I thought of oh well okay maybe that's something nice to to um to share with with viewers so uh, it, it was so sweet of Dennis to, to say what her reason behind those books were. So um, now I know that um, these lovely, very beautiful books uh, are from a very lovely lady from Canada. Um, I was silly enough to call this book Vitro, the Disney Vitro book. I bought that one myself a few months back, I think. Uh, but I really meant the Art Deco. I know exactly which books are gifted by whom. And uh, I also leave the little gift notes inside. So, um, so thank you very much again, Janice, also via this video instead of only via email. Um, and for the people who are curious, I think I did a flip through from the Art Deco one. But for this one, I'm also going to do a flip through, of course. It's a, a coloring block. So it's, um, you open it like this. And I think I will have to move my lamp a little bit so that I won't have any trouble. I'm going to, hold on. I have to remove my lamp a little bit. Okay, so it's by Hatchet Heroes, as you can see, and it contains 60 coloring pages. So that's awesome. And look at that beautiful foiling here. It's a bronze or a copper color so that it matches Bambi. So, and we will dive straight into the book. So this was my lovely note from Janice. And the paper. It's a medium quality and I love the, the tooth. It's not too toothy, but it's certainly not smooth. So it will take colored pencils very well. And I have seen people working with water media on this uh, type of coloring book also. So I don't think that will be any trouble at all. So, and the setup for this book is of course portraits. So all of our heroes are um, um, uh, drawn from close uh, in close up. I couldn't explain myself properly. I'm sorry. <laughs> so a few figures like this one. I really like what I'm seeing or who I'm seeing, but I don't know who he is. But um, I don't mind. This one is a very popular one. I've seen it colored in quite often, but I don't know her either, but I really love the yeah, the quality of the prints and, and it's a very, very beautiful book. And of course we all know her, little Moana. And in, in, 
Is it the American movie or the Euro European? The, there she is called Vayana, but I don't know in which country she's Moana and in which she's Vayana, but super adorable movie. And here we have her companion when she's older, but I've forgotten his name. But he has some powers and Nick Wilde from Zootropolis. Just saw that one recently. And I've forgotten her name or his. Is it a he? I think it's a he. And I'm f I don't know him either, but those faces are so beautiful. The designs are really... And in these frames, we can color them in, looking like gold or silver or bronze, but we can also use our lovely metallic paints. Maximus, love him. And Eugene <laughs> with Pascal. Love that movie. She's from Pocahontas, if I'm not mistaken. Here we can use our inktens or other water media to make the wood come alive or even do a base layer with watercolors and go on over, go on top with pencils. I think she's from um, The Princess and the Frog, I think. She's also... Love that movie too. And of course we can also do some colorings here and there. If we we can focus on the portrait itself, but we can also make some wallpaper here or yeah. It's really a lovely book. And this is also very cute with um yeah the um, the color I think it's called. And then that lovely face. Also a very popular image. You can see it quite a lot on Instagram. And then the lions from the Lion King. Oh, I love her. Really. Oh, I love that movie. And then with her boyfriend, Kronk. Beautiful. This is also such a beautiful book. It's a whole other setup than the Art Deco one. But it's, it's just pure fun. Here is a nice picture to uh, practice fur. And of course on the little lions we can also practice fur. And the genie. And also, not all the frames are the same. They are also a bit uh, yeah, mandala-like here and there. And then here with uh, Frank and Frey, they are called here. But I don't know their English name. But I, I love the fact that this is a wooden frame, but in real wood. So like a, like a gate, in fact. And here we have a wallpaper drawn in already. So we can choose what we will what we want to do with that. And here is the frame, all the leaves from the jungle. So it's it's very diverse, all the colorings, really adorable. And here the little ant, so cute. And this is one a chic uh, frame. This one is also very lovely, all those buildings. And Tinkerbell, our Alice, and here we have our cover picture, Bolt, also very lovely with those, uh, yeah, Bolt 
signs. You can make them very poppy with some uh, silver metallics or yeah, other vivid things. Duchess. I think she's from Toy Story. Not sure. Merida. We can have a lot of fun with her hair. <laughs> and Moana's grandma. And this is like an old photograph. It's lovely. This is really a beautiful book. I'm so happy that it's in my collection. I haven't started it, but uh, I'm sure I will soon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've... he's lovely. <laughs> Don't know him, but he's super cute. Robin Hood. Oh, she's lovely too. And here at the back we have some of the portraits in a smaller version. And I don't know, I, don't, I think you have to cut these out. There are marks where you can cut them. It, it's not that uh, there's a, an, um, yeah, it's not pre-cut, I will call it. So you have to use your scissors if you want to uh, draw, uh, uh, color these in and take out of the book. So, and then we are coming to the end and the back is quite a sturdy cardboard. So that was the portraits coloring book. So thank you again very, very much, Janice. It's super sweet of you. Um, and wow, it's just fantastic that I got those two lovely Disney books gifted by you. Um, I've already worked in this one. I will work in this one very soon, I hope. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through if you didn't know this book already. So maybe you have, uh, now I hope you have a good idea what's inside and if you, um, yeah, if you like it, um, yeah, I'm out of words now. <laughs> I must confess I'm a bit, I'm have a confused day. I think, um, I can't think very straight. I'm sorry. Uh, I wanted to say that I hope that this has given you a good idea um, if the book suits you too so uh, that you can decide whether you want it or not in your collection. I am certainly very happy to, to have it on my bookshelf together with this beauty. So, um, okay, I'm going to say goodbye for now and I hope we will talk soon in another video. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.